Hi guys, so here's my predicament. Like many of you, I have problem with neighbors from the impact noise of playing my little uh, Yamaha DD75. Behind me is my recording booth. I'm, I'm a guitarist and a producer. I use the booth mostly for tracking guitars, uh, vocals and these kind of things. And um, I've been using it as well to teach myself drums by putting my little uh, drum module in there and uh, practicing as much as I possibly can. And by the way, I'm documenting my progress. If you want to see the rest of my video, you can see how I'm getting on with that. The annoying thing is that this booth is incredibly well soundproofed, which means that even if you crank an amp, a guitar amp in there, and once you shut the door, there's hardly any noise in the ambient space in the in the rest of the studio and none of the neighbors are hearing anything on the side and above and all that so it's quite a good thing unfortunately the the downstairs is a different issue the sound is traveling down to make it worse my neighbor downstairs has a mezzanine where her bed actually is and the mezzanine is right underneath the booth so her bed is like you know one meter below the booth so it couldn't be any worse. The sound travels down and when she goes to bed, sometimes she goes to bed a bit early, sometimes a bit later and so on. But, um, you know, she hears me practicing the kick and she hears all the hits and all this kind of stuff. So I've been chatting with her and I've been trying to find a solution. And um, I decided to go down the, the tennis ball platform solution. So, so heavily uh, <laughs> discussed uh, in forums and uh, and on YouTube, uh, it seemed to work for some people. I didn't want to invest a lot of money into doing that, and I, I also want to preserve the the other usefulness of the booth. So I don't want to do something too drastic that could affect other things. And I thought this this platform is a good solution because I can always remove it if I don't like it, or for other other use I could always remove it. So. That's what I've done. I'm going to explain uh, all the materials that have been used. I'm going to show you the results and we're going to call the neighbor and see what she says when I'm playing. And the last thing that I did, which is different than uh, what I've seen on YouTube, is I bought these little stripes. They're actually quite cheap. They're 50 pounds in the UK from a website called Advanced Acoustics UK. And what you do is you put this on your floor to create some air gap before you put the platform on top. And this thing compresses quite hard when there is pressure on it. So it doesn't squeeze all the way, but it, it, it's actually pretty rigid. So first I did a layer of that in the booth. And the second thing that I did is actually just dump the platform on top of it. How hard was it to build? It was super easy because I got my carpenter <laughs> neighbor to do it for me. So I cannot tell you anything about how hard it was to do. He told me it was pretty easy, but then again, he's a genius with that kind of stuff. Uh, so for me, I didn't do anything at all. Uh, I just uh, helped him uh, put it in. So that's it. Let's uh, have a look at the result and let's call the neighbor. So this is the booth with the finished platform uh, put inside. There's just a little bit of carpet here. One thing that I've made sure that there is a gap all the way around so the platform is actually not touching any walls. It's not touching anything at all and it's not touching the back wall either. So it's like a little island in the middle of the booth, completely isolated from other contact point and even the, the bottom floor because of uh, the, the stripes of um, foam that I've put in as well. It's a little more bouncy than a, a, a regular floor. It moves a little bit, but it's not too bad. I'm making a little uh, video for my uh, YouTube channel about how I built the, the flooring and everything. Do you mind if I record your feedback so I can, I can tell people how, how it was and everything? Record it like how? Like... I've got my camera filming me right now. Do you mind if, I, if what you say on speaker is being recorded in the video? Okay, sure. You can... <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> it feels a bit quieter. 
It feels a bit quieter. You can still you can make it out. Okay. It's quieter. Mm. So that is better. Yeah, okay. Quieter. So I'll do the two of them at the same time. One second. You can hear it, but I think I think the edge has been taken off it. The edge has been taken off. Um, is it an is it an improvement overall? <laughs> oh no! Leading <laughs> questions. Um, I think it is an improvement. I think it's it has taken the edge off. It's a bit quieter. Okay, don't worry. Anyway, um, I will apply the same rules. I, I won't play. Uh, I won't play late or or anything. But I was I'll, hoping I'll, that I'll just let you know. I'll let you know yeah. whatever it's like if I'm trying to care or if I've got a patient who's kind of getting you know needs quiet. I'll, I'll send yeah. Them. Okay. Um, thank you. I really appreciate it. I hope couple of things, I've had further dealings with uh, Adele, the neighbor, and um, basically we we agreed that she has my phone number and we she sends me a WhatsApp anytime I play and it's doing her head in because she's got an important work call or something like that, or she's going to bed or she wants to have a nap or whatever. And um, it, it has definitely improved a lot. She says it's a big relief because she doesn't hit, she doesn't feel the heats every single hit every time it's more like a you know some kind of droning sounds that's kind of always there and it's still annoying but it doesn't have the sharpness that it used to have so that solution has worked to an extent that's not the extent i wanted it to work but it's worked to an extent my advice if you have uh if you're drumming in an apartment is to take the first step go and see your neighbor and ask them what they hear and enter in a negotiation with them because i think it's the best it's the best way forward. You don't want to upset them. You don't want them, if they're working from home, which a lot of people do these days, uh, you want to be respectful of that and make sure that uh, you're not hindering their business as well. Uh, so the solution is partial, but it's actually very acceptable. And I think the circumstances for me uh, were, were really too difficult. You know, a mezzanine that's like with the bed, like one meter below the booth and everything and structural thing. Okay, it was never going to be a hundred percent. I was hoping it would. It's probably a 60% solution in my case, but I, I feel that for most people, it would be a, a an 80% solution, you know? So I'm sure there's a much more professional solution with silo map pads and all these kind of things. And, and if you want a 100% solution, maybe that's where you need to look at, or 90% solution. Uh, but overall, it can work. It can work. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it's helpful. Please subscribe, like the video, share it if it's useful to anyone else. And um, I hope to see you in my next video. Take it easy.